for lots of you, I imagine the past couple of weeks have been a bit of a shock. Um, I know I've definitely had some downtime, I've been doing a lot less, but with the intensity and the high pressure and the really, really hard work you're putting into your GCSEs, and then there was the last GCSE exam, and the next day there was nothing for you to do. Which might come as a real shock, I know some of you are from lovely holidays, I know some of you have lots of responsibilities, so this isn't going to be the same for absolutely everybody, but for some of you, there's going to be a bit of a, a shock, because there's nothing to do. And for some of you, you'll want to start thinking about next year. Now this is very, very, very sensible, because I can always tell, when I take on a new year 12 class, the ones that have thought, all of my GCSE knowledge, I'm going to put it in a box, and I'm going to take that box, and I'm going to burn it. Um, and the those, those of you that are kind of like, oh actually I need to do a little bit of preparing for year 12 because there is a big jump in between year 11 and year 12 and we need to start slowly getting ready for this. Now my subject is chemistry so I'm going to do a whole separate thing about the loads and loads of stuff I'm doing for um, A level chemistry over the summer and I've got a bit of stuff for A level maths over the summer but this is a more general video as to what anyone can do no matter what A level subjects you are doing to get ready for next year. The thing that I really want to emphasise at the beginning is just because you've handed in the form and you've picked your A-level subjects doesn't mean you have to, that you are committed to doing these A-level subjects. Spend a little bit of time daydreaming about your university and check you've picked the right A-levels for university. So um, if you desperately want to go and do architecture, maths is generally a pretty good one to take. Um, and it's heartbreaking when we get to the end of year 12 and we start thinking about UCAS application forms um, and you don't have the right subjects because nobody told you in year 11 that actually doing chemistry was an amazing subject. So please take a little bit of time and go and check those. If you're doing some of the humanities subjects, English, have a look at the book list, um, email the schools, I'm sure they'll be happy to send you like at least the title of the first book. And then try and get your hands on that book, like pop down to your local library and borrow the book and then go and sit in the sun and read that book. Now I know you'll be reading that book in class, um, but just read it and enjoy it. You know, this applies to basically every single subject, maybe not maths. But there's loads of books that we can recommend for chemistry, I've got reading lists over my website, there's loads of books to recommend for biology, physics, just ask your teachers if they can recommend a book for you to read over some holidays. This will be amazing preparation for when you get into next year because it'll add a little bit of context to things for you, it'll add a little bit of background, it'll make things more real and more interesting. If you're doing A-level maths and I've got a course for you over my website and loads and loads of videos, if you're doing A-level chemistry, I have so much stuff for you. So there is a whole playlist of videos, which is absolutely free. There's a little workbook you can download for not very much from my website. But the thing that I'm rolling out this year is I'm going to be doing loads of lives, teaching you loads of stuff for A-level chemistry. I'm going to go into more detail on that on a whole different separate video. But there is a link in the description and down below where I'm going to teach you some live stuff over some holiday. The big thing you have to be aware of when starting year 12 is that there is a massive jump in not only knowledge but expectations of you. You are going to be expected to be a lot more independent and keep up with stuff. Um, you will be given homework but chances are you won't get in too much trouble if you don't actually do that homework because the emphasis is more on you taking ownership of your learning and it's really good to get into the habit of this straight away. Something I definitely recommend you think about doing is getting yourself organised. So getting like, see over here I've got some nice little folders for psychology, maths and chemistry. You're going to need folders at home. Now you don't have to go and spend a lot of money in these. I'm sure if you spoke to somebody that was just leaving the sixth form they would have folders, leave arch folders just lying around that they can hand over to you. I know lots of the GCSE curriculums were cut down because of the advanced information this year so you didn't have to learn all of it. However, when you get into sixth form, when you get into year 12, you might have a mixture of different people doing like AQA GCSE, LXL GCSE, OCR GCSE and they will have cut out different things from the curriculum. Now your A-level teacher 
is not going to spend absolutely loads and loads of time working out who had little bits of knowledge. Try and catch up with all of the bits that you didn't revise for GCSE and revise them. I, I know I'm telling you to revise for GCSEs that you've just done, but it would definitely do you really, really good at A-level if you have caught up on this knowledge, because some of you are gonna have absolutely massive gaps and some of you aren't gonna have very many gaps at all. Those of you that have gone through and filled in the gaps from GCSE are gonna be at a massive advantage in A-levels. So I have lots and lots of stuff for you guys. Um, we're doing loads of lives for A-level starting end of chemistry, doing loads of lives for UCAS and stuff like that. Uh, lots and lots of stuff coming up for you. Um, loads and loads of discount codes are going out on the mailing list, so link down below to sign up for that. That's the easiest way for me to like send out discount codes for you. Um, and yeah, guys, this is this is going to be a really really good year. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Krim.